I want you all to picture the city or town that you live in. Imagine that you wake up in your safe home, that you get out of bed, you go for a shower, you put some clothes on, and you have some breakfast. You then pack your laptop and your phone, and you make your way to your car or to your train station and take that journey to work. I want you to think about everything that's around you. Think about the buildings, the bridges, the technology and all the possessions that you own. And now, I want you to imagine what that same city would look like and what your lives would look like if there were no engineers. There would be nothing. The renewable sources of energy and <laughs> the renewable sources of energy, the skyscrapers, and all these wonderful things that we envision in our future cities will only become a reality because engineers are going to design and create those. Engineers are always changing our lives. They're introducing new technologies and innovations all the time. But we have a problem. I'm here today to talk to you about the lack of engineers in our workforce. The Royal Academy of Engineering estimates that up to 50% more graduates are required in science and engineering in order to meet the needs of the economy. We have a vast shortage of people choosing to learn technical skills. Less than 10% of engineers in the UK are women. Less than 6% are from minority backgrounds. So my question to you is why aren't there more engineers? When my sister and I were young, my parents used to play Lego, Meccano, and all these wonderful toys with us. And we absolutely loved collecting all the bits and pieces from the ground and putting them together, assembling them to create something larger and more meaningful. And my job as an engineer allows me to do that every day. Becoming a structural engineer is one of the best decisions I made in my career. I worked on the shard, I designed the foundations of the building and the very top of it, and I can't tell you how rewarding and satisfying it is to be able to say that I helped design one of the most recognisable towers in the world, one that has changed London's skyline. No stereotypes were imposed on me as a child, and as a result, a whole world of possibilities was available to me. When I work with students and the community to tell them about my work, I introduce myself as an engineer, and then I wait with bated breath for the response. Sometimes I get, oh, what does that mean? Or, oh, that's really interesting. Or the classic, you're too pretty to be an engineer. Compliment? I don't think so. We have a very outdated definition of what the engineer means and a prehistoric vision of what an engineer should look like. <laughs> we have clear images of what a doctor or a lawyer does. Perhaps perpetuated by the media, we understand what it means for surgical procedures to save a life or battles in court seeking justice. But the engineer has no such positive identity in the popular consciousness. Does it matter? It matters because it deters people from being interested in what engineers do. It matters because this is a barrier for us to inspire young people to seek out the many opportunities and rewards that a career in engineering can give them. We have a huge journey ahead of us, a very tough journey, in order to try and correct this imbalance. We need a new brand for engineers and for engineering that is you know, free of all of these stereotypes. And I realize that this is a massive task. There are many things that we as engineers can start to do to try and correct this balance, but we need support. We need support from our schools and our universities, from our industry and our institutions, from the media and for the government, and also from you. You're all here today because you want to see our vision of City 2.0 become a reality. So the next time a young person asks you for careers advice, encourage them to continue learning science and mathematics. Encourage them to at least consider engineering as a possible career choice. Because it is those young people that will be designing our future lives. 
I was at a party in a flat near the Thames the other day, and I was very proud because there was an amazing view of the Shard from the window, and everybody was standing there and admiring it. But I also noticed that nobody was saying, what a fantastic feat of engineering the Shard is. When somebody sees a beautiful building or a bridge, I want them to instantly recognize that engineering is at its core. I want to see engineers on popular TV. I want to see children fascinated and enjoying engineering and wanting to know what it is we do. I want to see the end of science toys and books which are marketed only to boys. <laughs> and I want to experience a truly diverse workforce, one where all the stereotypes have fallen away, and experience a world where everybody recognizes that engineering is a creative, rewarding, and very prestigious career to have. Thank you very much.